Okay, so I've just made uh, another vat of worm tea. And, uh, mm, this brew is pretty good. This brew is pretty good. So I've had some questions asked about what do you do with the worms when you're putting in the vermicast into your stocking. And so that's your stocking. And they say, well, will they survive in the water there? Because you normally, you let it brew for a day or two. So this is what came out of one of the stockings. And we're going to open up and see what the worms are thinking about things. Okay, so they're looking pretty good. They've been in there for a day. And um, there was some university study. Oh, here we go, look at that. Uh, there's a university study somewhere I'd read about, you know, what kind of oxygen levels these guys can live on, these compost worms, not regular earthworms. And um, they said, well, as long as there's oxygen in whatever they're in, um, they'll survive. And um, so now this is the worms that have been in that vermicar sitting in the stocking in the container that was being oxygenated by that pump for 24 hours and you know what, crawling off my hand so you can see there isn't much to worry about there's also there's you also get these little smaller species uh, in the worm farm as well I don't know actually who, what that is it could be like some recent hatchling um, but they they seem to be okay I don't know about the eggs I will test the eggs at some stage so folks make worm tea it will not harm the animals filmed in this production. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, little worm. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.